about the World Max Physiotherapy Day, also called World PT Day. Now, it was designated in 1996 and prom prom promoted by World Physiotherapy. Now, World Physiotherapy's, Physiotherapy's work is directed to furthering the physiotherapy profession in order to improve global health. Now, this year, World PT Day will focus on the rehabilitation, long COVID, and role of physical therapists in the treatment of people affected by the coronavirus. Joint pains that include back pain, arthritis and even Down syndrome are some of the conditions that can be treated or managed through physiotherapy. Today is World International Physiotherapy Day, a day that therapists celebrate what they do best to improve the lives of people, mostly their patients that include children and adults. According to Dr. Henry Banda, the head of physical medicine and rehabilitation department at the Karen Hospital, it is not an alternative or traditional way of treatment, but a medical one that saves lives. Today being 8th September, it is a wild physiotherapy day. And wild means wild, meaning if you go to Rome, they are speaking wild physiotherapy day. If you go to Tanzania, they are speaking wild physiotherapy day. So is Kenya. Why World Physiotherapy Day? It is a day that we as physiotherapists around the globe come together, stop, and reflect on our contribution. So every year there is a theme that is designed and it is celebrated all over. Physiotherapy is a branch of medicine that deals with human functionality with respect to movement. So a physiotherapist role is to promote and maintain optimal, meaning the best available functional movement a human being, a human being can achieve or have. Maybe after an injury or after an illness or infection or just to enhance their overall well-being. You don't have to be literally sick to seek physiotherapy. Physical medicine is divided into four subsections including occupational therapy and speech therapy. Mark Nyacheo, an occupational therapist, says they treat a wide range of patients using different methods and equipments to make life bearable for their patients who include autistic children. Of a child is play and schooling. So any condition which limits the child from doing the normal play or from schooling normally is in conditions like cerebral palsy which interferes with the physical development of the child. They are usually delayed in development. Conditions like uh, sensory integration disorders, where we have autism spectrum disorders. We have learning disabilities. We have other language and uh, communication disabilities like Down syndrome. We have ch conditions like uh, birth-related deformities. And we have children with uh, Down syndrome. So these conditions, we address them here to identify the specific needs, if it's concentration, fine motor skills, and uh, these are some of the equipment we use for such a kind of training. So all these uh, activities are geared towards that. So when I talk about concentration, for instance, a child is able to sit down, maybe take this from this end up to this end, and repeat and all that. So when you're talking of a child who is hyperactive or limited attention span, but with this kind of activity and with repetition, that's what they call sensory integration therapy, which is an occupational therapy. Speech language therapy is a treatment for most kids or adults with speech or language disorders. Some of the reasons one may need speech therapy may include autism, hearing impairments, weak oral muscles, among others. So in speech therapy, we train and treat people who have lost abilities in speech, production of speech, acquisition of speech, understanding spoken, signed on written language. That is what we basically do in speech and language therapy. Yes, summary can be treated. It can be acquired or developmental. Uh, it's actually neurological and uh, depending with what type of stammering people has, it's, uh, it's actually in three categories. There is uh, stuttering which we also call this block. Um, there is repetitive stammering. So for example, one, one wants to say mum, you might hear somebody try and say mum, 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 mum. Um, for block is where once somebody also wants to say mum, I'll just use the same example and they can go mum. 
So that is block stuttering. In stuttering, we have to first understand what is causing your stuttering, in what conditions that can cause your stuttering. Most of the people, when they're talking in public, they actually stutter and they, they might think they are stammerers. But in real sense, it's basically stuttering related to a certain condition. Apart from eating a well-balanced diet, experts also advise one to exercise with guidance from proper and trained therapists or instructors. Sally Limo, Look Up TV, Nairobi.